Hi guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and today I'm going to be showing you how you would use indices to solve for x. So first of all we need to go through some of the basics of indices which is on the left hand side here of the screen. So the first and most important rule is that we need a common base. Now I'll explain what the common base is. So as you can see here our base number below the power is 2 for each of these. So we have a common base of 2. Same here, we have 2 to the power of something and 2 to the power of something. Again, a common base of 2. And here we have a base of 2, which means our answer can stay with that common base. So all of our answers here will have the same base of 2. Okay, then we need to look at our rules. So if we are multiplying like we are here, we have all the multiply signs. That means we add the powers. So we'll have three plus two plus four, keeping our common base gives us nine. So two to the power of nine. If we are dividing then, we subtract the powers. So we'll have five minus three, which will give us the power of two. Again, keep keeping our common base of two the same. Finally, when we have brackets, you multiply the powers. So here we have x by two, which is two x again, keeping the common base of two. So once you have the common base, you can write that down for your answer and all you're worried about then is figuring out the powers. Okay, on to our question. We're asked to use indices to solve two to the power of x is equal to a to the power of four. So first of all, we notice that we do not have a common base. We have two and we have eight. So we need to fix that if we want to use indices to solve here. So we can bring eight to a power of two to the power of three. So we'll convert eight to two to the power of three and put that to the power of four. If you weren't sure how I got that, two to the power of two is four and two to the power of three is eight because two by two is four by two is eight. So two to the power of three is eight. So we know we needed two as our common base. So we brought it down to two. We worked our way up. Two by two was four. Two by two by two gives us eight. Okay, then we have another rule. We have brackets here. And we know with brackets, we multiply the powers. So we'll have three by four is 12, keeping our common base the same. And then this leaves us with our final answer. We can drop the common base and we're left with x is equal to 12. And that's how you use indices to solve for x.